Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Smeralda and you are watching Albo Plants. So in this video I wanted to talk about what are my wishlist plants and the different kinds that I would like to add to my collection. At the beginning when you start collecting plants you don't really have a quite good idea of what is the different kind of species that you really like and you enjoy growing. So you end up buying everything that uh, you come across. My example at the beginning it's the moment that I bought most of my plants from local businesses here in Albania and what I could find. Everything that grabbed my attention and without even really knowing a lot about those kind of plants that I bought. And you know that there are a lot of plants that look really nice at the beginning. I'm talking about you. Calatheas, yes. And as everyone, I suspect I bought different kinds of plants like Calatheas and Pothos, different kind of Pothos, Alocasias. Let's say that I had also some problems with those. I'm talking about you, Calatheas. So, as time passes, you understand that you don't really like those kind of plants and you also see different other kinds of plants in the internet that really draws your attention and you start to experiment by owning and finding some other kind of plants. In my example, I started buying my first velvety leaf plants, which for me they are my favorite. It doesn't matter which genus. I love philodendrons that are velvety. I love anthuriums that are velvety. What else? Alocasias that are velvety or the other thing that I really love in a plant is the contrast. If there there are uh, contrasts in the colors on the leaves, for example, one of my favorites is jewel alocasias, cupria, dragon scale, other skindapsus, for, exa for example, have very defined colors and patterns that I do really enjoy. So now that I have a better idea of what I like, I have created a wish list and in my opinion creating a wish list is very important and very beneficial for you if you are a plant collector because you focus on the plants that you like and you don't end up buying whatever comes across you. So today I thought it would be fun to share my wish list plants with you. You will find maybe that some of these in your country are you can find them very easily in your local shop or plant store. In my case, I live in Albania and here I am uh, limited to what the plant shops have and usually they stick to the basic stuff like pothos or calatheas as I said, stromanthi, prayer plants. So they don't have this kind of variety as in, for example, your area. So some of these plants uh, you may find there are common, but for me they are quite uh, difficult to find. Albania is also not part of the European uh, Union. We have been more than 10 years that are trying to <laughs> get in the European Union. Please let us come into your club, please. And that is a problem for me because I cannot ship plants from different uh, online plant stores here in Albania. So I do have to risk it and ship it to a neighbor country and try to import them by myself. I will start by saying what my wishlist plants are. In my Instagram I have created this um, folder with um, the saved posts for my wishlist plants. In this case I I believe that I manifest them in my life. Till now it has happened, so I will continue doing it. So I will see them in my phone and I will also put pictures here. Maybe I have to go a little bit like this. So I will put pictures here of the wishlist plan. So I do have 
In here, as I'm seeing, I do have different kinds of uh, genuses. I have anthuriums, philodendrons, monsteras, hoyas, orchids, and alocasias as well. So I will uh, try and do it with uh, different genuses. So the first one is quite obvious maybe for you. And it's a wish list plant for a lot of uh, plant collectors around the world. You have to have one of these for sure. And it's a variegated Monstera. I do have my logo with a variegated Monstera, so I need to have one in my collection. And I would really love to have the Bersigiana, the Albo Monstera, because I love the variegation, the white variegation and the splashy and the patches that it has. And I would also love to have a Thai constellation monstera. And the reason is that I want both of them is because the Alba monstera is a small form monstera, which is, which is a Borsigiana, and the Thai constellation is a big form of monstera. So I will have both of the forms in my collection, and they are both variegated. I love the variegation of the Thai constellation with the splashy and the leaves that are a bit darker. So that would complete my satisfaction for the Monstera genus. Let's continue with Anthuriums. So Anthuriums are quite difficult to find here in Albania. I've only found one so far that came like unexpectedly. And that one is the Anthurium crystallinum. It's the only one that I've bought here. The other ones I imported from uh, Equigenera and also from, from Plants.com. So what I want to add to my Anthurium uh, collection are the King Anthurium, of course, because I have the Queen. I want to find her a partner and I want to have also the King Anthurium. I love the uh, abs that it has and I would love to own the narrow form. Continuing with the anthuriums, I do love the silver blush one. I think it's a kind of crystallinum but with more white veins pronounced and I think that uh, compared to other anthuriums it is quite uh, different with uh, the very pronounced white uh, veins so if you have them together I think that it creates a very nice variety. Next the Magnificum of course I have heard very nice things about the Magnificum I have heard that it is quite easy I love the big leaves that it gets and I would love to own the regular Magnificum because I really uh, like that the new leaves come in in a pinkish color and now that I have also made some research I do love also the Magnificum Verde because it has the shape of the leaf more elongated so yeah for me it's quite attractive. I would like also to own a strappy leaf uh, Anthurium because I want to experience how it grows and if I do enjoy it. Uh, especially the Polydiflorum one, which is velvety, because as I said, I love velvety leaves. So that one for sure is one that I would like to have in my collection of anthuriums. Uh, lately, because the prices have dropped down quite a lot and it is more obtainable for me, I would love to have uh, anthurium luxuriance also. As I said, it has this very defined texture and it has this leaf, 3D leaf with the deep veins and the dark green and I love it. I have also seen that the propagations that uh, they make, the hybrids that they make with uh, Luxurians turn out to be gorgeous. So I would love to own an Anthurium luxuri Luxuriance with the hope that I can uh, cross it with uh, different other Anthuriums that are in my collection, maybe in the future. So continuing with Hoyas. I do have quite some Hoyas in my collection. Um, the most uh, basic ones, the Princess, the Queen, uh, Linaris and 
I do enjoy keeping them in my balcony. They do very well in my balcony during the summer. So I would like to add some other varieties. For example, I would like to own something like Callistophylla because the pattern on the leaves and the veins, the big leaves, the veins, I do really enjoy in this plant and it will be the only one with big leaves in my collection maybe. I would like to try it out and add it. The next one with big leaves that I would love to have, Hoya, is a kind of microphylla or now I think it is uh, in the group of Latifolia Hoyas. And I love this uh, Hoya for the big chunky leaves for the 3D effect of the leaf and also the sun stress that it gets with the pinkish hue on the outside of the margins. Another Hoya that I find very attractive is the Sigillatus. I love the splashy leaves and also the purplish hue that it gets from sun stress. And I do really enjoy the Hoyas that grow like uh, trailing Hoyas. So this one has all the characteristics that I love in this kind of Hoya. Another one that I find really attractive is uh, the Polynera because the shape of the leaves that it reminds of the fishtail is quite peculiar and unique. So if I had the opportunity I would also like to own a Holy Polynera. And for the moment that is it for the Hoyas, we continue with uh, Alocasias, which is another uh, genus that uh, I do really enjoy. One of the main wish lists from, for Alocasia for me that I still don't have is the Alocasia fry deck. The variegated one, it's super gorgeous, but it's very expensive. I love the different kinds of uh, hues, of green hues, whites that it gets and lately I have seen one that Charmaine from uh, Unplanted Parenthood is sharing. Her, her fry deck is super gorgeous and it's, I think it is uh, unobtainable for me at the moment so I would also be very satisfied with the normal velvety one, Micoliziana. I would love to have one of those in my collection for sure. Another Alocasia that um, really draws my attention is the Regal Shield. I do have some similar Alocasias growing in my balcony, like the Odora or the uh, I'm not quite sure which other one is the one with the big leaves. Um, I do have also a baby Wenti eye now at the moment, but I would also like uh, to try out the Regal Shield because I think it has a bit of a velvety texture leaf and also the back of the leaf is red, so it's quite beautiful. Um, as I said, I love jewel, jewel uh, Alocasias. I do have the Dragon Scale and I would love to own a silvery one so maybe a silver dragon or also another one that I do really like is the Alocasia nebula and I love it more than the platinum because it is more similar to dragon scale to the silver dragon but the shape of the leaf is different and it's like a platinum but it also has that kind of uh, color as the silver dragon so that would be very nice to own and lately I have seen uh, this Alocasia Ninja which is uh, very similar to a black velvet but it has more round uh, shaped leaf and more pronounced veins so that is quite interesting. I do love my black velvet. It's one of my favorite alocasias. And this one is quite interesting as well to own. So now we continue to the philodendrons. Um, velvety philodendrons, yes. I would want more of those. As I said, I love my gloriosum. 
I love the kind of leaves that it uh, gives, the shape, the color of the back. I love every of those characteristics. So another kind of philodendron that I would like to own is of course the El Choco Red. It has a similar growth pattern as a Gloriosum, but uh, when the, the leaf comes out, it is this bright red color and it's stunning. The back of the leaf is also uh, red and heart leaf, velvety, big leaves, everything that I love. And speaking of gl Gloriosums, as I said, the another wish list plant for me is the Gloriosum zebra. And this particular one is because I would like to own a different form from the one that I have. I do have the Gloriosum verde. And there is this other type, which is a dark Gloriosum, which has the round petioles. And when the leaf comes out, it's more of a bright uh, pink. The veins are more pronounced, but the zebra takes it up a notch and gives you even more veins with the main veins and the secondary stripes that it gets. So yes, I would love to have one Gloriosum zebra. And of course, there are the hybrids. I do love the Melanochrysum. I do love the Verocosum. I do love the Gloriosum. So it's quite simple to know that I would love to own the Splendid, which is a cross between Mel Mel Melanochrysum and Vericosum, and also the Glorious, which is a cross between Melanochrysum and Gloriosum. I love the uh, uh, growth pattern that both of these uh, plants have. I would like to have more climbing philodendrons because I would like to experiment growing them on moss poles and trying to mature them and uh, get bigger leaves. So these ones, I have heard that they are a lot easier than their parents, so I would love to own both of them. Also, I want to add some other kinds of plants in here that are on my wish list. The first one is the Maranta Silver Band. I do have uh, two kinds of Marantas in my collection. I have the Kerchovignana Variegated and also the Red Maranta. And this one, I do love the colors that it has, the silver stripe. So where are we? Oh yeah, the silver band. So I love the colors of the silver band. I love the deep green and the silvery bluish uh, center stripe that it gets. Um, so I, I know also about the black maranta, which is also very pretty, but it is more difficult to find. So the silver band, I know that I can obtain it. And on the wish list, I try to put plants that I think that I can can find and buy. I don't want to put plants that are very, very difficult to find for me because I would like to try and obtain my goals. From the begonias, I do have some begonias. I do have experiences with begonias. And in the future, I want to make a terrarium and there I was thinking that a lot of Rex Begonias, there are a lot of beautiful Rex Begonias that I would like to own, but at the moment I do not have a terrarium, so the only kind of Begonias that do well uh, outside in my living room or in my living space are cane Begonias. And one kind of Begonia that I would really love is the Pink Minx. Um, as I said, my favorite type of begonia that I own at the moment is the dark velvety one that has a very similar shape of leaf as the pink minx, but this one is pink. And I love pink in plants, so it's quite pretty for me. 
And that is one, the only begonia, cane begonia that I would like to own. Next, uh, skindepsis. To say the truth, with the skindepsis that I had, which were a very common one, I have had problems with thrips and I've seen that they are quite prone to thrips where I live. So this thing has frightened me a bit, but uh, nonetheless, I would like to own these two syngoniums that I have in my wish list. The first one is the pink splash, yes, the pink splash, because as I said, I love pink in uh, plants and this one has very nice, um, <clears throat> has very nice dusty pink color on the leaves and also the shape is quite arrowy and it divides the leaf in uh, three sections creating this kind of ears which is very interesting and the other one of course will be either the albo syngonium or the aurea syngonium which is a more yellowy variegation um, I know they are becoming more common now, so that is a good thing. And I would like to try and grow one of those syngoniums in my collection. Uh, lately I have also started collecting orchids and I see that they do very well in my space. And I have understood the way that they grow. I think they are quite easy to grow. So <clears throat> I would like to also uh, add some orchids in my collection. My top wish list orchid is the Schilleriana. So here in Albania I can find only the basic Phalaenopsis, the widely produced ones, that doesn't have an ID. So finding this kind of uh, botanical orchids, it's very difficult here. And Schilleriana is, I think, the one of the most iconic orchids that you can find because it has the leaves with this uh, pattern which is very interesting and you don't usually see this kind of pattern in normal Phalaenopsis orchids that you buy in the store so this has a very beautiful defined pattern on the leaves so even if you don't have flowers the plant is gorgeous by itself I love the flowers because they are pink and the shape is quite beautiful. I know that this kind of Phalaenopsis is uh, most likely to produce uh, clusters of flowers with a lot of flowers, so that is also very nice. And the cherry on top, this Phalaenopsis has a very nice fragrance, so what can you ask more? So this has stopped recording. So as I was saying, the Schilleriana has everything that you want from an orchid. So that is my top wish list for orchids. Another baby from the Schilleriana that I would love to own is the Bronze Maiden. And this one has also very interesting pattern on the leaves. It is more silvery one with dots. But uh, because it is a hybrid, the flowers are different for each uh, plant, each orchid. I would like to own the one that has a more pinkish flower also. Another one that is iconic kind of orchid, botanical orchid, and it's the Phalaenopsis leodoro. And this one uh, has very big leaves and very shiny leaves. And I love the colors of the flowers, which are pink and have also a little bit of yellow. And also the dots. I love dots in uh, orchid flowers. And this one is very known for its nice and strong fragran fragrance. So, yes. Another kind of uh, Phalaenopsis, as you can see, I love Phalaenopsis orchids. At the moment I don't want to try and uh, grow other types of orchids. In the future maybe I will give it a try. But continue with the Phalaenopsis. The Phalaenopsis odorion. This one has very beautiful peachy kind of uh, flowers. 
and I do really enjoy this kind of uh, color. It adds a lot of dimensions to the collection if you put them together. It's like you get different kinds of pinks, of, of uh, corally, of peachy colors. I do really enjoy how they look. And this also has some kind of mottled uh, leaves, so it's also a big plus. Another very nice Phalaenopsis, and this is a mini one, it's the <clears throat> Giajos Pink Girl, I think, the name, and this is also another Schilleriana hybrid, as you can see I love Schilleriana. And this one I love the flower because it reminds me a lot of the Schilleriana. The pink, the spots, the white margin is very beautiful. And what other thing that I love about this orchid is the foliage and the stem is quite dark. So the contrast between the dark uh, color of the foliage and the light pinkish white color of the flowers for me is very pretty. So guys, these were my wishlist plants and what I would like to own in the future, hopefully. Hopefully as soon as possible, you know. If you enjoyed this video and if you own any of the plants on my wishlist, maybe you can leave me a comment. How do you find them? How do they grow? Are they uh, easy or do you have any problems with them? It will be very interesting for me to know maybe some more information from you. If they are worthy of owning. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. I would appreciate if you liked this video, maybe shared it, maybe you want to subscribe to this channel. I will try and make even more plenty content for the future. Also, please check out my Instagram page, which has the same name, albo underscore underscore plants. I do really enjoy making photos of my plants and share them on Instagram. So if you like that kind of thing, maybe you will give me a follow as well and we can keep in contact. Hope you are having a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon. Bye!